What's up guys, today I'm going to be finally making a video I've been so excited to make and pretty much been waiting for Friday when Zer is here to make it. And it's going to be a great opportunity I think Bungie has with Zer with Armor 2.0 that they're kind of missing out on right now. An amazing way to farm exotics paired with the 980 Master Nightfalls. So first, for the people that clicked on this video thinking it was a Zer location and inventory guide, I got you. He's in the tower hangar and he is selling Syntheseps, Lyra's Handshake, then also Geomag Stabilizers, which is actually a pretty good lineup of exotics for all three characters. In the past few weeks, almost few months now, I've been taking the Faded Engram on my Hunter to finally get to Lyra's Handshake being the only thing in the entire game I'm missing. And he sells it the week that I'm guaranteed to get it from the Faded. Now obviously I'm still going to pull the Faded Engram first to guarantee a random rolled Liar's Handshake, but I think this is hilarious that the week I'm finally going to get it, he sells it anyways. So pulling that random one on my Hunter to see what it is, it's actually not too bad of a Liar's Handshake. It has Void Energy, which is kind of good I guess, but when you're using Liar's Handshake you're using Shotguns anyways, which is Arc which is the one from the collection and the one he is selling. The stats aren't too bad, they're kind of all over the place, but eh, whatever. But that brings me to my first point of this video, that all the rolls Zur sells are the ones exactly from the collection. So Zur is not a very good way of getting random rolled armor outside of the one faded per count per week, which can be a weapon also, so that's not even that good of a way to farm random rolled exotic armor. And I will say Zur selling the collection uh, stat rolled armor isn't necessarily a bad thing for new or returning players that are trying to fill out their collection page. A very good way to catch back up. And with the Faded being 100% something you don't have yet, that's also a really good way to fill out your collection page. So Zur is good for that purpose. But when it comes to the new Armor 2.0 system where there is three different elements and also six different stats, obviously it can be a handful trying to get exactly what you want from that single Faded Ingram. Pretty much the only way to farm Armor 2.0 Exotics is from the 980 Master Nightfall, and when you do that with Platinum Rewards, which means killing all the champions, you are guaranteed to get 2 or 3 Enhancement Prisms per run, then you have a chance at Ascendant Shard, which is usually every other or at worst every third run, and you also have a chance at Exotic Armor Piece, and it's only armor from that character you're playing and it cannot be a weapon, and once again that's probably every other run or at worst every third run. So that's actually not too bad of a way to farm armor. But once again, with the three different elements it can roll, plus the six different stats, plus the fact that you have over 20 armor pieces per character, it still is pretty hard to get exactly what you want. Even if you farm a ridiculous amount of hours, it's still unlikely to get what you want. And in recent times in Destiny 2, they've added a lot of ways to streamline and intentionally grind for certain things in the game. One example I'm going to use for this video is the new Vex Incursions with Ikora. As you do the Vex Incursion, you get Vex Mine Components, along with three different chests that give you random Vex Loot. So that can be either armor or weapons, or a combination of both. Then you can also take those Vex Mine Components to Ikora to get a quest line to farm one of the four weapons each time you do Vex Incursions. So this results in a very good looting chain. You do Vex Incursions and get random Vex Loot along the way. Then every run or every two runs, you can go pick up a bounty from Ikora and get exactly what you want while getting the random stuff. So I think the exact same system could be placed on Zur right now, and in this system he'd still be selling the three armor pieces, one per character, with the collection roll, but I propose right below that there should be a blueprint or whatever you want to call it for that armor piece, and to purchase that blueprint it should be one Ascendant Shard or a few of the Enhancement Prisms, the two things you get from 980 Nightfalls. Then when you pick up the blueprint, just like the Vex weapons or whatever, there could be a little step to get kills or whatever it has to do to complete that part, and this could be tied into what the exotic does. For example, the Sun Bracers could be get 50 solar grenade kills and stuff like that. And when you're done with that step, the final step to get the random rolled version of whatever blueprint you picked up, you have to go do the 980 Master Nightfall with Platinum Rewards, and instead of getting the random armor piece, you get that blueprint piece guaranteed, and it's one of the three elements, one of the six stats, you know, all the good stuff. And this would create a lot of amazing effects. One of them would be, Zer would almost be like a spectacle and like a community event each weekend. Imagine those weekends when he sold those top tier PvE or PvP exotics, for example, on Warlock Trend versus Steps. The weekend he sold that and you could pick up the blueprint for it, the entire community would be farming 980 Nightfalls that entire weekend until he left because you don't know when he's going to have that again. It would be a great way overall to streamline and put more intentionality behind the Armor 2.0 exotic grind. And I don't think this would ruin it and make it super easy to get exactly what you want because one, 
You need Zer to have that item that week, and he will only have three at a time for that, you know, four day period. So you would have a limited amount of time to farm it once he actually has what you want. Also, the materials to be able to pick up the blueprints wouldn't be the easiest thing in the world to farm. It took one Ascendant Shard to pick up each blueprint, and on average, you get a Ascendant Shard every third 980 Nightfall. That means you wouldn't be able to farm this over and over again. Every once in a while, you'd have to farm up a few 980s to get a bank of Ascendant Shards going for you, then be able to do a bunch of blueprints back to back to back. Then while you're doing those blueprints, there's a chance that you get more back, and then, you know, it's just this chain where you can kind of farm it over and over again. And this would also promote playing the 980 Nightfall throughout the week, that way you're prepared on your materials for the weekend in case he does so what you want. So not only would this be a much better way of farming, you know, armor 2.0 exotic armor, it would also give more reason for people to play 980 Nightfalls throughout the week and make sure you're prepared for the weekend. And like I mentioned before, those weeks where he sold those really good armor pieces, it would almost be like a community event without actually having to do anything. Just the fact that Zur has that one armor piece that everyone wants to farm, that's what everyone would be doing that entire weekend. This system would take Zur, which right now is pretty underwhelming for players that have been playing the game pretty much since launch or, you know, aren't missing that many exotics, from being pretty underwhelming to one like the must-see vendors each week, which is what Zur kind of should be. It should be a vendor you want to see each week. It should be one you should be excited for each week. And I think the system is such a good idea that they're just completely missing out on this opportunity. And some of the small details if Bungie wants to do the system is up to them. For example, what the cost of the blueprint should be. Like I said, I think it should be one of the materials from the 980 Nightfall. That way it makes sense in that chain of having to farm 980s to be able to buy a blueprint, then doing the 980 to get the blueprint and, you know, going back and forth. But the amount of shards or the amount of prisms or whatever they use to buy the blueprint is up to them, depending on what they think the exact time input should result in amount of loot. I personally think one Ascendant Shard makes sense to me because on average, you know, Master Nightfall takes 25-30 minutes depending on which strike it is. And like I said, you're not guaranteed Ascendant Shard every run, it's usually every other or, or every third. Then once you actually got Ascendant Shard, you get the blueprint, you do the little quest step, then you go back to 980 for Nightfall and you get the armor piece. So that entire process could easily be an hour to two hours just for one armor piece. And the fact that Zer is only there for four days, it's not like you're going to be farming a lot of exotics very quickly. It's still going to be kind of hard to get that random roll, but at least now you can actually go for what you want when Zur is selling it. Overall, I just miss those days where you went to Zur in Destiny 1 and, you know, he finally had that one exotic that you've been looking for for a year. And that feeling has just honestly never been in Destiny 2. And I've said this multiple times, but with Armor 2.0, with the stats, with the elements and whatnot, I think this is the perfect opportunity to make Zur very relevant again and just be this awesome vendor. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this system. I've been itching to make this video this entire week. I think this is an amazing idea. I really hope they actually do it. Because not only will it help us farm Armor 2.0 Exotics, it will also like bring the community together to farm 980s whenever Zer has a good thing. It will literally just be a community event whenever he has something good. Anyways, like I said, let me know what you think about it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Catch you guys next time.